Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Fred. I am joined by Kara and we are going back to our roots. When we made this channel, what was the channel about? It was about getting Kara into shows, into anime. Right, no offense. No. You were quite fresh and everything. And we look started- Look at the growth. Look at the growth, <laughs> pause. We started with Demon Slayer, where it was truly girlfriend reacts. I just finished Demon Slayer and then I started watching it with you. So for me, it was like a very fresh rewatch. And since then we've started shows that we both haven't seen. We've started shows that I remembered some of from my childhood hmm. and Hunter. After the last Ebender is going back to those roots because I finished Avatar just over a year ago. This is something that you know nothing about. If you had to compare this to how much you knew Demon Slayer, which one did you know more about? Oh, I knew more of Avatar. Okay. In terms of like the, the Fire Nation. Okay, so she knows the meme. She knows that like, and everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Because I was saying that meme around the house like all of last year when I was watching it. For me, Avatar is comparable to when I didn't watch Naruto. I heard of Naruto and you know what it's about in a nice. in like a vague idea. What I described as is I said it was a serial show. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, when you get up before school right. and you have cereal and it's in the background TV. That's what uh, it was for me. Cool. For me, when I saw shows like this when I was younger, I was like, turn off the channel. I just wanted to watch Barbie. <laughs> Carl was built different than us. We don't look. I am so excited for this. I don't even like iron my shirt. That's how important this is. Do you know like characters? I know his name's Anne. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. And there's a flying. I don't want to offend anyone. A bull or something. It's a bison. It's a bison. <laughs> Close. I will just tell you my first opinion okay. is the first few episodes as I was watching I was like oh very much the show aimed at kids right? that's what I was gonna say it's an old show yeah and it was it would be on like the kids channels when we were younger yeah watching it as a adult is such a good experience because you kind of look back being a kid yeah you see the writing is made by an adult and later on I was like this show is incredible all right well anyways we're gonna get into it if you guys are excited do drop a like because the obviously first episodes likes comments I am very transparent again I've seen it so I'm going to be more reacting in the sense of just enjoying what is given to me. If I've missed any details, my first watch, I'll obviously point out. And I'm just going to vibe along. Let's get into it. This is after the last seven, the episode one. Let's do it. Water. See, I know this. Earth. Fire. But I've never seen the animation. Air. This is me. When the Avatar kept balance between the Water Tribes, Earth Kingdom, Fire Nation. Fire Nation. I am getting such goosebumps. That all changed when the, when the Fire, Fire Nation, Nation attacked. attacked. <laughs> Only the Avatar mastered all four elements. Okay. Only he could stop the ruthless firebenders. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years have passed, and the Fire Nation is nearing victory in the war. Damn. A hundred years? Two years ago, my father and the men of my tribe journeyed to the Earth Kingdom to help fight against the Fire Nation, leaving me and my brother to look after our tribe. Bruh. Some people believe that the Avatar was never reborn into the Air Nomads and that the cycle is broken. But I haven't lost hope. The Avatar will return to save the world. I will say this off the bat, the soundtrack in the show is so beautiful. Watch and learn, Katara. This is how you catch a fish. Oh wow. So she's got magic too. Or powers. I caught one! Hey! Every time you play with magic water, I get soaked. It's not magic, it's water bending. Oh sorry. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> this makes me him. Culture, blah blah blah. I will say though, looking at it now, the animation definitely gets smoother later on okay, from what yeah. I've seen. How have they not crashed yet? Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> Dude, I can never. You call that left? Well, maybe you should have water bended us out of the ice. <laughs> oh, <it's my> <laughs> Leave it to a girl to screw things up. Excuse me! You are the most sexist, immature, nut brained. I'm embarrassed to be related to you. Oh fuck. Mom died. I've been doing all the work around camp while you've been off playing soldier. Oh, Katara. I even wash all the clothes. Let me tell you, not pleasant. Katara, settle down. No, that's oh, it. Shit. I'm done helping you. From now on, you're on your own. Where are you planning to go, girl? It does You never mad at me. <laughs> we. 
gone from weird to freakish, Katara. You mean I did that? <gasps> <gasps> What is that? Oh, it's Ang. Is his name Ang? It is, his name is Ang, yeah. He's alive. We have to help. To be fair, yeah, she's just doing it. She doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> this literally came out from under the water and it's glowing. <laughs> Gotta save him, boy, though. Gotta save him. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the Fire Nation? Do you realize what this means? I won't get to finish my game. Why don't you enjoy a cup of calming jasmine tea? I don't need any calming tea. <laughs> I need to capture the avatar. Helmsman, head a course for the light. I love how Katara's like shield. But then when you really think about it, she let this out. And he's like, hi. <laughs> Poking him. <laughs> Appa. Are you Appa. Right? Oh, bless him. <laughs> You're okay. Get out of there before they find you. This is Appa, my flying bison. Right. And this is Katara, my flying sister. <laughs> 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 Love so much. Did you see that crazy bolt of light? He was probably trying to signal the fire navy. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's a spy for the fire navy. You can tell by that evil look in his eye. You never told us your name. I'm uh, uh, you. I'm Ang. <laughs> he's got a little cold. He's been frozen. He's been frozen. Just for a bit. Higher than that. <gasps> You're an airbender. I think I got midnight sun madness. I'm going home to where stuff makes sense. How? <laughs> <laughs> Opera and I can give you a lift. It's like, w We'd love a what's going on? <laughs> He's just like, I'm just living my life. Fluffy snot monster. Okay. <laughs> First time flyers, hold on tight. Appa, yip yip. Yeah. I thought he was gonna fly. <laughs> I see a lot of myself in soccer. Okay. In the sense of, you know when you're dumb by accident, you just come off funny, but you're actually upset at your dumbness? That's me. You need some sleep. You won't find him. Your father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all tried and failed. Because their honor didn't hinge on the Avatar's capture. Mine does. This coward's hundred years in hiding are over. What's up, girl? You're being an airbender and all? If you had any idea what happened to the Avatar. Uh, no. I didn't know him. Sorry. Okay. Just curious. Good night. <gasps> this is a backstory. Yeah, very much. Good art style. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, he preserved himself. Hey, wake up! <gasps> We're in the village now. Come on, get ready. Everyone's waiting to meet. Bro, it must be so cold in that village. In it? As if she hasn't noticed a blue arrow in his head. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> she knows it's running all across. And oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is the entire village. Oh. Why are they all looking at me like that? Well, no one has seen an airbender in a hundred years. Until Ooh. my granddaughter and grandson found you. 
Call me Grand Grand. Grand Grand. <laughs> what is this, a weapon? You can't stab anything with this. It's for airbending. <gasps> you know, last time I checked, humans can't fly. Check again. <laughs> Just always smiling when you see that. Oh. <laughs> My watchtower. <laughs> this is voice acting. <laughs> You're an airbender. Katara's a waterbender. Together, you can just waste time all day long. You're a waterbender. Well, sort of. Not yet. Come on, Katara. You have chores. I told you he's the real thing, Grand Grand. I finally found a bender to teach me. I sense he's filled with much wisdom. See? <laughs> I promise that can right there. Again. <laughs> No. I just I find this so unserious. <laughs> it takes time. For, I mean, I agree. I've been drilling the sequence all day. Teach me the next set. I'm more than ready. No. Exu comes off so like. I'm more than ready. Master your <laughs> Drill it again. The sages tell us that the Avatar is the last Airbender. He must be over a hundred years old by now. You will teach me the advanced set. Like he's trying to come off so angry. Yeah. That it's hard to sell it. In the water tribe. We fight to the last man standing. But without courage, how can we call ourselves men? I got a pee. Same, Listen, bro. Until your father's return from the war, <laughs> they're counting on you to be the men of this tribe. No party breaks. But I really gotta go. <laughs> okay. Who else has to go? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> Grand Grand said he disappeared over an hour ago. Everything freezes in there. It's a toilet. Oh, Bruh. Get out of here. He's just ruining everything Sokka's trying to build. What's wrong with you? We don't have time for fun and games with the war going on. What war? You're kidding, right? Penguin! He did say we go penguin sliding. Right? So cute. I feel like your favorite part of the show so far is the animals. <laughs> hey, come on, little guy. Wanna go He's as tall as the penguins. Fucking hell. <laughs> I have a way with animals. It's like the innocence. Yes, yes. I'll help you catch a penguin if you teach me waterbending. You got a deal. <laughs> Just one little problem. I'm an airbender, not a waterbender. Isn't there someone in your tribe who can teach you? You're looking at the only waterbender in the whole South Pole. What about the North Pole? Maybe they have waterbenders who can teach you. But we haven't had contact with our sister tribe in a long time. It's on the other side of the world. I have a flying bison. Aqua and I can personally fly you to the North Pole. I don't know. I've never left home before. It's not much people in our village either. Yeah, there's like, what, max 15? And mostly kids. I'm trying to figure out if he's actually 100 or if he's just a kid. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. I feel like episode one is so much about just selling you his child personality. Because, mm. like, that's a child. Yeah. That is a child behavior. That looks fun. Looks dangerous as shit. <laughs> you would never let me do that. Anyways. <laughs> Bye. Those penguins are like, you used me. <laughs> what is that? A fire navy ship. Ang, stop. The ship could be booby trapped. If you want to be a bender, you have to let go of fear. It's way bigger than I thought it'd be. Not a ship. Mm. Well, if it's a warship, you've got to think how many units you need on there. I'd be like, see ya. Nah. Sorry. I'm going back to the penguins. <laughs> Whoa. We could use this those weapons. Been my tribe since Grand Grand was a little girl. It was part of the Fire Nation's first attacks. Back up. I have friends all over the world, even in the Fire Nation. I've never seen any war. How long were you in that iceberg? I don't know. A few days, maybe? I think it was more like a hundred years. Do I look like a hundred twelve-year-old man to you? <laughs> think about it. The war is a century old. You don't know about it because you were in there that whole time. It's the only explanation. This just seems so, um, like, yeah, you were in the iceberg for a hundred years. He's like, wow. Can't believe <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Again, a 12 year old, how would he react, right? Let's head back. This place is creepy. Isn't it? Ah, there we go. What's that you said about booby traps? <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Uh oh. 
a signal. Flare. Okay, you can get out from there. Oh shit. Oh crap. Ah, double fuck. The last airbender. Quite agile for his old age. I found the avatar. As well as his hiding place. Oh shit. Oh no! Gran Gran! Oh no! Episode, okay. episode one. That's a nice setup. Talk to me through both positives, negatives, whatever it might have been. I that to be fair like you said it was going to be a little bit kiddie you gotta have this mindset of like surely they'll go into it more no i know the that. reality know of it that. in this beginning of the show mm. is the most kiddish it is mm -hmm. like the penguin sequence always pretend yeah, to be a yeah, penguin yeah. like i was watching i was like that's just a child being a child changing. i mean that's what i assume like it will just progress and actually like have a deeper plot later on mm -hmm. which is well, the comedy grows on you the characters grow on you mm. even in episode one i still think they do a great job of making soccer that kind of like yeah, yeah. humor for the show it's funny or just seeing the little kids being like, I need a P2, man. Like, <laughs> all of them going to the toilet. There is hints There of is comedy in there. What I think the show thrives at later on. But I do agree with you 100%. There's some moments that you go, that's it? Or like, when Zuko was fighting, it's like that guy that's like, Mom, it's not a phase. Legit. That's it's a bit it. annoying, to be fair. There you go. But episode one is very much like a, just setting up the character. Of course, yeah. Without even setting up the story. Yeah. That was episode one of Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, first ever reaction from Miss Kara right here. We'll continue this episode too. If you guys are excited, if you genuinely want to see more of us, do let us know by dropping a like and a comment. Catch you guys next time in episode two. Has been Press and Kara. We out. Bye. Bye.